welcome to your CompTIA IT Fundamentals training course. In this video we will learn about the value of data and information. In previous times a company's assets were mostly physical in nature. In today's technology driven environment data and information is amongst the most important asset to a company. Unfortunately data and information is also one of the easiest assets to steal. So what is data and information? Data is facts that are yet to be processed whereas information is processed data. Typically data is not meaningful until it is processed into information. As data and information has increased in value, information security is no longer a luxury for an organization. It is an essential function of an organization. Planning for security takes time and money. One should perform a cost-benefit analysis CBA, determine the return on investment ROI, and calculate the total cost of ownership TCO, when considering security solutions. A CBA estimates the effect of a solution in regards to its total cost. An ROI compares profit to the cost of an investment in security, the return would be based upon expected risk and cost saved through mitigating these risks. TCO is the total cost of obtaining and maintaining a security solution. This leads us to data-driven business decisions. Data-driven business decisions is a process of collecting data, correlating the collected data, and creating meaningful reports to make business decisions. Intellectual property is amongst what needs to be protected. Intellectual property is creativity driven work or invention for which one has the rights and may apply for a patent, copyright, or trademark. Patents are used to prevent others from sale, use, or marketing of an invention without permission of the patent holder. Patents last for a specified period of time and are typically granted by a government agency. A trademark can be a symbol or words that represent a company or product. Service marks are like trademarks but apply to services. A registered trademark is a trademark that has been registered with the US Patent and Trademark Office. A copyright provides exclusivity to the creator of works of authorship to determine how and if the work can be used by others. The length of a copyright varies from country to country. Copyright infringement refers to when a work that has been copyrighted is used without consent. Copyright infringement of software, videos, movies, and music is often referred to as piracy. In the past, much of the software we used on our computers was only available on optical discs. Now software is in large part distributed digitally or available for download through the internet. Although software is delivered digitally, EULAs or end user licensing agreements, patents, copyrights, and trademarks apply just the same. We have covered quite a bit in this lesson. Let's check our learning with some review questions. Question 1. What is the correlation between data and information? The answer to this question will be C. Information is processed data. Question 2. Relate each term to its definition. A. Cost benefit analysis. B. Return on investment. And C. Total cost of ownership. A cost benefit analysis estimates the effect of a solution in regards to its cost. Return on investment compares profit to the cost of an investment. And total cost of ownership is the total cost of obtaining and maintaining a security solution. Question 3. Relate each term to its definition. A. Copyright. B. Patent and C. Trademark. Copyright provides exclusivity to the creator of works of authorship to determine how and if the work can be used by others. 
a patent prevents others from sale, use, or marketing of an invention without permission of the holder, and a trademark can be a symbol or words that represent a company or product. Question 4. Blank is the transformation of input into output. The answer to this question would be processing. As always, please review the concepts from the previous lessons if needed. I look forward to seeing you in our next lesson where we will discuss common units of measure, and I would like to thank you for watching.